All right, everyone, welcome back to Red Dirt RC Crawlers. I'm Jeremy, and I'm here with the Pika Farrier of Triple Crown RC today. We'll do a quick interview and introduce everyone to Triple Crown RC. Uh, so I guess we'll get started. What inspired you to actually open Triple Crown RC? Um, I would say it's almost a continuation of what I did with my older shop back in Colorado. And also, too, I saw a need for um, a specific hobby shop, not just a general hobby shop, and also uh, a mom and pop small business hobby shop. Yeah, absolutely. So what's your background in RC? Uh, my background in RC started way back in the early 80s. We were doing uh, off-road uh, dirt racing, you know, RC10s, GRX2s, you know, we all started with a grasshopper, a hornet, or a blackfoot. Um, got into that and it waned in my later uh, teenage years, but back in the early 2000s, got back into it, and I was told by my wife to get a hobby. So around 2007, 2008, I started looking into crawlers, and it's just been a downhill slope from there. Awesome. You mind giving us a quick tour of the facilities? Absolutely. Let's go check out the rock pile here first. So we've got around 700 square feet for this rock pile. Um, it's got a substructure underneath it that one help with the load and also two um, allow us to build more complex and challenging terrain but also still have some room for some more mellow terrain especially for the new drivers and the uh, trail drivers and you brought it like what like nine tons of stone or something uh actually we are at around 14 tons i'll, I'll give it that that's what my back says <laughs> <laughs> awesome Okay, so talk to us about the drift track and what all you've had going on with this. So this was actually the biggest part of the, our project. One, getting the floor level, two, laying the tile, and three, also getting the mural done up. Just to give it a little bit more of a background, not, didn't want to necessarily have the ubiquitous sponsor banners across there. We will spon have sponsor banners, but have a little art added to everything to kind of give it a little flair. Yeah, it's awesome realism. Oh, thank you. So uh, talk to me a little bit more about the track. Um, you're able to easily reconfigure it, and how often do you plan on reconfiguring it? Uh, as far as reconfiguration of it, uh, everything is kind of just taped down, for lack of a better term. Uh, this is actually garden edging, but it works really well because it's uh, easy to work with somewhat, and also flexible, so it allows for more changes, more variations and whatnot. Um, as far as configuration, it will ultimately be dependent on the community. The uh, shop is driven for the community. So when everyone comes in and plays and they'll say, oh, we're getting kind of bored of it. Be like, all right, let's change it up and make something new and make it more fun, hopefully. That's awesome. And so you also have plans for having a one RC track coming in here shortly as well, right? Correct, yeah, that's gonna be in the back of the shop. We've got half of it set up so far and we're just waiting for the carpet to arrive and we'll be putting that down. Uh, the one RC stuff is a new venture for me as being a hobby shop owner, but one, it's super easy to play with, it's super easy to work with, and it's a great way for someone to get into the RC hobby because of the cost of the vehicles overall. Out of the box, they're ready to go. You can attend a race and have fun. Yeah, that seems really cool. Yes. So what about track fees um, or course fee for the rock crawlers? Are they all the same or what's the fee structure like on that? So whenever the shop is open, all the tracks will be open to the public to come in and play. There is a one-time $10 fee for per driver and that's unlimited in and out and that's good for all day and there's no limit on the amount of vehicles you had. So if you have three crawlers, two drift cars, and a couple one RCs, it's just 10 bucks, you come in and have a good old time. Okay, so you've got all these awesome courses between the rock crawlers, the drift, and the one RC. Do you guys plan on hosting comps and events here? Absolutely. So for the rock pile, we're gonna be hosting a scale comp every Saturday starting at 6 p.m. That's gonna be open to class one, two, and three, and also mini and hopefully we can get more people into the comp crawling trucks like the Sporty and the Pro Rigs and the new We Are Sea Rock rock buggy. That'd be really cool, to, yeah, definitely. Be really cool to get those out here and uh, have some fun. As far as the drift track goes, uh, we're not really gonna have any type of set events yet unless we start doing potlucks, also known as Matsudis. 
again, depending on what the community wants to do with the facility. The uh, 1RC track is going to have races every Tuesday starting at 7 p.m. And depending on what other tracks want to do, hopefully we can start building up into series for the 1RC racing. Okay, so with all the great tracks you've got going on in the course here, and you've got lots of inventory coming in, uh, what are your plans for being able to cater to both uh, the experienced guys and the new guys that are coming into the hobby? Well, ultimately we all started somewhere, and I'd like to say that's the pinnacle of our forte is helping people with the questions and the products as they get into the hobby. Um, it was hard for me to find the right parts, the right pieces, and the information I was looking for when I first got into RC, and that's what we want to provide, not just the products, but information, knowledge, friendship, and hopefully a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned products. What are some of the brands and products that you're most excited to be offering here? Uh, I'm honestly really excited about any cottage industry, mom and pop level company that's coming out with products that will hopefully make everything easier, hopefully cheaper, and ultimately funner. Um, We've always prided ourselves in working with smaller companies and when we started a hobby shop in Colorado. And it was also kind of cool because you could see those smaller companies grow into larger companies. Uh, for instance, K&K, &K, we were one of their first, very first brick and mortar retail stores and they have grown into basically a hardware empire. Also offering not just screws and fasteners, but wheels, um, chassis parts and pieces, gears. It, it's really cool to see companies grow and also be able to help them grow as well, being a retailer for their products. That's awesome. Um, do you have any special plans for the grand opening for this weekend? Um, we're just gonna be happy to be open. Um, we're definitely shooting to have as much product in the store as possible, but also to, with any business that we've done, We've tried to make it progressive in the sense that it's always going to be growing. It's always going to evolve and bringing in one more products, new products. And I don't want to say the old standbys, but have the core products that are needed by everybody. Okay. Final question for you. What are your plans and future vision for Triple Crown RC and its role in the local RC community? Well, we haven't even opened yet and we're already thinking about expanding and we want to be as inclusive as possible for everyone to enjoy the scale RC hobby. With the rock pile, the drift track, and the one RC, uh, hopefully we can reach a broad audience of people and also help people get into the RC hobby. Uh, the community is ultimately gonna de decide what we do as far as what we offer to the community. Rock pile can get bigger, the drift track can get bigger, the one RC can get bigger. And we are here for the community to help grow and prosper and have fun at the same time. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to answer all my questions today. Um, we look forward to the grand opening. And for anyone that wants to show up to the grand opening, what's the address here? It is 2825 Epperly Drive. We're in Dell City, Oklahoma. And you can find us everywhere on the web, hopefully, um, Google. And we will have our grand opening starting this Friday at 11 a.m. And what about social media if they wanted to reach out and contact you? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, social media. We've got Facebook and Instagram, and there's always a good old email if people want to get in touch with us. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yep, no problem. Thank you. All right. Everyone within the community. And I say community like five times. <laughs> okay, so what's your vision for the... Okay, last question. What are your plans and future for the vision of uh, Triple Crown RC? <laughs> <laughs> Since you can read mine, <laughs> can you tell I'm not happy? <laughs> Answer this question. <laughs> 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 <laughs>